Greetings, Chummers. Rosmond here, and welcome back to Hand of Fate. Back so soon? I knew you would not falter. The more you play, the more I wonder. What are you wondering, Mr. Dealer? Well, today, we're going after the Jack of Scales. These curses are mana drain. Cooldown times for weapons and artifacts are doubled. Eh, can be potentially bad, but not too not too terrible. And last man standing. In every combat, the last enemy alive can no longer be stunned or interrupted. Also adds two dead men gorgeous and two supplies. The suit of scales are represented by these lizard men. Quiet. Patient, lethally subtle, and coldly intelligent. Of all the creatures I have incarnated as suits, these please me the most. Well then. Alright, so. Recommended decks. Make sure there's nothing of particular interest that I want out of there. Looks good. So let's start this. You have taken one of my symbols, but now we begin to play in earnest. My scepter is at stake, and I do not intend to use it. I, I always love the shuffle animation. Scales. I have saved the lizard men for now, but the stakes have been raised. There is no weapon I will not use against you. Yep. Yeah, playing for the scepter now. Ooh, Mr. Lionel. Well, we already know how you work. Uh. I'll give you the bread for my plate. Once again, I get sent to random square. It's enough to put you off crossing at bridges like this. Surely there's an alternative that would leave you less exposed and vulnerable. Crossing the ancient rope bridges of Deadman's Gorge, you hear sounds of movement from below. It's an ambush! Draw one monster card. Four of dust. I can handle four of dust. For the win. You cover what you can from the dead. Draw two gang cards. One food? A little food. Not a great change, but enough to switch the odds a little. And five food. The altar. Whimsy and Caprice, the domains of the old gods. Were they always thus, or has age corrupted their natures? In the des deserted hilltop in a faraway land, you discover an old altar. The gods of the old religion are powerful, yet unpredictable in their favors. Do you wish to pray at the altar? Yes. Alright, if I get success, I'll get a blessing. Choose from these options. 
On mid and knee, you beseech the gods to aid you in your quest. A distant rumbling of flash of lightning answers your prayer. Draw one blessing card. This card's token is now yours. The gods Critical look upon you favorably. Mm-hmm. Critical strike. This player inflicts the player inflicts triple damage against foes who are stunned. Here. Take it. Another token in the dish. Hitch a ride. A horse is a fine companion. I'm sure you'll need this one in time. You do not seem to have the temperament for friends, even in the animal kingdom. You hush your mouth. All right. Maze of traps. Hopefully this time, I won't almost die. Knowing my luck, though. Yeah, this pro <clears throat> this probably gonna hurt. Okay, so run across. Yeah, not too bad. I only lost half of my health. I'm sure you're grateful for that. Oh, sure. Let's equip the shields. You draw two, keep one. I want the mercenary contract. Once per combat, press right bumper to activate an aura that makes you makes every su successful strike drop gold. Now I can get the crucible, that'd be great. <laughs> now time to hitch a run and it's better than trudging along a muddy road. Certainly. Head to the next floor. I appreciate your efforts. I worked hard on this game. It is a pleasure to see you play. A ship at dock is worth nothing until it sails. Yeah, that's true. Ooh, new card. Embertown Hero. A quest that may lead you down many paths towards jealousy guarded secrets. Interesting. You come across an injured adventurer whose battered and bloodied armor tells you he's seen, co he's seen combat recently. Ask him his troubles. As you approach, his eyes are drawn to your artifact. I've always wanted that, he yells. Oh. Fight him off. Let's try to get the huge success. That's not fair. That would move way too fast. Well, at least I get the success. Fight him off and he runs away. Darn. Yeah, the Embertown hero, he'll attack you if you have an artifact any artifact but if you don't have an artifact you can actually do the quest the card does which is to track down some guys who stole from his town and you know be go beat them up devil's carnival frivolity is not my portal all right we've already been here once before Hopefully, I can get the huge success. I think it's this one. No, that's just success. Darn. You drift along the rain stalls booth, stopping to look at whatever catches your eye. The mysteries of the carnival await you. Ooh, huge failure. You are selected from the crowd to be tied to a wheel. The wheel begins to spin, and a blindfolded man dressed in black proceeds through knives at the wheel. 
Evidently, he needs more practice. The dealer draws you one max health pain card. Ouch. Ouch. I'm sorry. No, you're not. Give me that token. Choose next card. New one. Noble trainer. What do you want from mind me? Or simply noble by oh, no, he just passes me by. I don't have anything of interest to him. Call for the priest. Approach the shop. Blessings you have on sale. Arcane knowledge, holy touch, and toxic blood. Way too much money to remove the curses. Sell that shield since I don't need it. Buy a little bit of food. Uh, and then we go to the next floor. Down once more, seeking the heart of it all. That was not a terribly good. What brings you to play the game? Ha, I know you will not tell me. Like all the rest, you are silent. Yeah, that last floor was not very eventful. Also, one thing that I do have a problem with this game is the dealer's dialogue. We'll, we'll eventually get to a point where he will repeat a lot of his sayings, and some of them are rather long. And there's no way to make him to, to skip to skip his dialogue because, in you know, I I don't want I don't want to move until he finishes talking in case it cancels out what he might say for the next card. The apprentice, of course, mages have their own rules. Power. Mostly. I don't want to skip a floor yet. Next card, shop. First shop, see if there's anything worth getting. I don't think. Probably things worth getting, but I don't have the money to get them. He has a huge hammer and the mage gloves. Ring of survival. I want that, but by the time I come, if I, I get money and come back here, the stock's gonna change. Oh well. Ooh, Dead King's Hall. Two monster cards, two of dust, two of skulls. We haven't seen any lizardmen yet. To take them by surprise. Ooh. Huge success, yes. Uh, let's fight some skeleton men. Skeleton skellies are not that hard to fight. Act of mercenary contract. Yeah, he's landing on. Landing on some spikes. So yeah, that's mercenary contract. Pop it and get some gold. Loot the room. Deal the dodgy three gain cards. Get some more max health back. Extra health. But it is only a momentary respite. Yeah, yeah, and back over the map that I'd lost. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. Got back my max health and a little bit of food to go with it. Ooh, new card. Marketplace. Not a good day to be in Steagle. So few are. 
Alright, what? Selling food. I could attempt to steal some food from the markets. I think I'll do that. Finally, well, guards, all the guards need to be elsewhere. Your time has come. One success card. I think it was this one. No. You're caught in the act of trying to take a wild boar from the back of a wagon. Flee from the trade as the trade rules for the guards, but you're soon captured and thrown into prison. Continue to enter the entertain the crowds once more in the town of Reynos. Draw one monster card. Poor Jack. His place is so much lower than ours. He merely repeats the same motions over and over. Incapable of change. Swing and swing and swing and oh yeah, last one standing. And that's a kill. And some money to next battle. Draw one monster card. Two is goals. Yeah, two skeletons aren't too hard to take care of. Care of. Mercenary contract again. Alright, got it going. And deal the finishing blow. Some lizard men. I'm rather low on health. This doesn't look good. There's a ranged one. The key to lizard men is knowing to move. Also, taking care of the ranged guy as quickly as possible. Also, you need no shield bash to take care of the shields. Good. That should be that. The mercenary contract's all spent, though. The guard takes you to the city gate, saying, Watch yourself, swordsman, or perhaps in the ne next time we'll drop you in the pit. I got some good amount of money, though. Shop. Approach the shop. Didn't get ambushed. Sometimes, when approaching the shop, if you have lots of money or lots of rings, uh, you'll get ambushed. Buy items. 
Yeah, see. Ooh, Fortitude's Breath. A shield for the marathon, not the sprint. Mage's gloves. Now this is my kind of magic. Death and the transmutation of energy. Heal wounds. Also, high ten food. And just spend the rest to heal up as much as I can. Would have liked to have a huge hammer, but I don't get a huge hammer. Do have do have a nice shield. I do have mages gloves now. Oh, damn. Our lives are often lived thus, are they not? Pushed back and forth if by I... whims, nobility, or power. If I had fifty gold, if I had fifty gold, I understand that contributing to the common good may be unfamiliar to your sword. I urge you to return immediately if you change your mind. If I had fifty gold, a horse is a fine companion. I'm sure you'll leave this one in time. Oh, shut it! You do not seem to have the temper. Friends, even in the animal kingdom. Heroes remains. So often, this is how the story ends, is it not? The hero tries, the hero dies. Their memory is celebrated, but they are lost. You pass the funeral, it's obvious from the size procession that the deceased was a well-loved figure. You are approached by the cleric. This great hero fell while defending our beloved town of Wandermere. His sword and shield are powerful artifacts, but must be returned to his hometown for the proper burial rites to be completed. Will you do this, traveler? Yes, take the hero's belongings. Thank you, this would mean the world to his family. The town would have revolted had these artifacts not been returned. It's not far to the hero's hometown. Look for the town clerk when you get there. The Viking Blade. Such an elegant use of rage and anger. You wouldn't expect it of barbarian hordes. No, I'm not using the Viking Blade, even though it's much better than my axe. Because I'm going to have to give this up. Pain. A, sh a shield bash deals damage to the opponent. Damage increases increase as you go up the combo tiers. A nice shield, but once again, not equipping because I have to return it. Because of this. Heavy burden. After ha. five... Let us see how you progress with that millstone around your neck. Of course, you can remove your curses at shops if you can find them. Still, I'm keen to see how you handle your disadvantages. After five steps, the player loses 50% max health. Now if I take the weapons and give them as I'm supposed to, they'll automatically just wipe away the heavy burden. The heavy burden is if you give your word to do something, but don't do it, you will suffer the penalty of heavy burden. Alright. And the hero's return is right down there. Okay, so I need to go down from here. Ratman hunting. Jump on Ratman hunting party. Defend your, try to defend yourself. You're thrilled to see Jack again. No. I'd rather not fight the Jack of Plague again. I don't like fighting Ratman. Okay.
I don't have any artifacts or special weapons, so just dodge and dodge and dodge and until I get a clear line to run up in. Oh yeah, I have Age Gauntlets, I forgot about that. Ah. No! Dodge! Jack's dead, so just need a mop of rabbit. That works. Curse of food from that carcasses. Dealer draws you one food game card. Three more food. Heroes return. Look. Look deeply. This is the fate of heroes. Yeah, the the quest cards like Immortown Hero or uh, the one I'm on right now. You you will accept you will pick up the quest from one encounter card and it will place another encounter card somewhere on the board covering up that space. Do you, I, I, whatever that face-on card was, I can't get to it anymore now. So, sometimes it will put it on a card that you've already explored, so that can be nice. This token will unlock more cards if you can defeat this encounter. You reach Winder Wandermere, hometown of the dead adventurer. The town cleric meets you at the gate. He appears to have been standing vigil. Turn the hero's sword. Thank you, this blade will once again be wielded in Righteous Fury. Do you also have a shield? Return the hero's shield. Truly, you've done the Almighty's work in the, returning his, the shield. Thank you, blessed are we who protected can fell those who transpass against us. Draw two blessings cards. This card's token is now yours. Retribution. Useful. Or if the player is struck by a ranged attack, there's a chance that the attacker will be stunned for three seconds. In Wrath of the Old Gods. That's a little too powerful. I will have to rebalance that next time. Yeah. Yeah. You have done blessed work this day. For your services, we will prepare for you a sacred artifact that you may continue your good work throughout through the dark days ahead. I already mentioned about the token. Sometimes the game will do that. It will mention getting the token twice. It's just weird. Ooh, traveling mage. I don't have any money. First, the shop. I still want to see what they have. Buy items. Plunder's count. Damocles. Hangs ramps and a chemical silver. And I got nothing. With the stairs going and down. Downwards, if you dare. Nope, I'm gonna turn back. Pass it by. More Ratman. Six of Plague. That looks awesome, but... First time I've ever been happy to have random crap in the middle of the arena. Uh oh, last one. 
So hit and dodge. Or I could just kill him. Killing him works too. Carve some food from our corpses. Dealer draws you one food gain card. Get five more food. The landlocked lubber. There's a token in it for you if you win. Return the landlocked lubber and find it somehow even emptier than before. Carlos entertained by the story of your time in Norwich. You explain that you were told you need need a high binder to find the missing ships. Carla laughs. It's not a high binder, it's the high binder. He's a broker of, inf of information. If he knows anything about the missing boats, then he'll tell us. If we can pay his price. I could tribute what I can towards the high binder, but as you can see, the tavern business hasn't made me a rich man. He'll accept any currency, but we'll have to provide enough to make it worth his while. Uh, I guess I'll have to pay 20 food. I don't have 50 gold. It's gonna hurt. But I need, I, I want to continue that story. Deadman's Gorge. Maybe I can get some more food off this. Nature of the questions we will ask. Do we look to the past or to the future? Is your decision predetermined or made? Two of skulls? I can take care of two of, two of skulls. Yeah. See? Even with the curse, making the um, last one standing kind of difficult to kill. That's 40 gold. That's five more for units of food. Oh yeah, and I have four to breath, so I don't use up as much food coming back here. Approach the shop. Maybe there'll be some worthwhile things here. Buy items. Dragon's Ring, Plunger's Camp, Hearn's Antlers. Yes. This is going to take double damage like from player lizard. attacks. Where? Interesting choice. Can't get anything else, though. I don't want. I already have, I have uh, the Mage's Gloves. Don't need hag wraps. Buy one more piece of food. I'm sure you're grateful. Yeah. Stairs down. Deeper towards our foe. Take the stairs. Mark on the next leg of your adventure. The lizard men are nothing if not patient. He waits for you. Ooh, final floor. Tavern wager. Taverns, caves, dungeons, and the roads between them. Over and over again and again. Well, yep, that's the life of adventure. You find yourself in a seedy old tavern, spinning tales of your adventures to a group of drunks. A bearded old soldier scoffs at your tales and challenges you to an arm wrestle. I'm not wagering my helmet, but I will rage my, wager my gauntlets. Got a 50 50 chance. A choice. Select your desire. Mmm. That cost me my gauntlets. Twisted Canyon. Ooh, a weapon. And I get Scorching Zeal, really nice weapon. 
Really? Is that what you're going to do? We preferred something with cold damage, but there's not many weapons with cold damage. Stranger in the shadows. Aha. The count enters the picture. On a dark moonless night, down a lonely road, you encounter a hooded stranger. Greetings, friend. I'm in need of some sustenance. Would you be willing to offer some of your vigor in exchange for gold? He has he asks, taking out a bag of coins. I accept. The stranger moves with unnatural speed to grasp you firmly and bite at your throat. After a few seconds, he releases you. Thank you, says, handing you some gold as you regain your composure. I am not yet sated. Would you like to earn more gold? Mortal, you seem unusually willing to give up your blood for material gain. The stranger goes on to tell you the secret of the t it tells you goes on to tell you a tale of secret blood auctions and where they may be found. This card's token is now Another yours. Another token brings you closer to your goals. Alright, I'm in hunting. Six of plague. Oh. Fire! Ah, I win. And that looked kind of fearsome. Curve some food from the corpses. Ooh, food gain card. Ten food. Yeah, I'm all to finish four now. Loan. You cannot come to this table with debts outstanding. Sure, I'll give him ten gold. Very After nice ten steps. I forgot it was ten steps, I thought it was fewer than that. Oh well. Goblins! Goblins! Well, these are just goblins. What piece of equipment of mine have they stolen? Well, I've got seven gold and three food of mine. They took my weapon. Alright, so my weapon's back at least. Yep. Common threat dealt with, you continue on your way. Treasure chest. A treasure chest? What more iconic emblem of success could we imagine? While exploring a dungeon, you see a treasure chest at the end of a hall. The chest may hold great wealth, but the chamber may be trapped. Approach the treasure chest. Chet. Blah, 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 blah. Yay! The hall is silent as you move forward. You approach the treasure chest. Win this and claim my token. The treasure chest looks battered, but still intact. What treasure might it hold? Attempt to pry it open. After a mighty heave, the lock goes away, and the spoils are yours. The dealer draws you four gain cards. This card's token is now yours. Fifteen gold, twenty gold, a piece of equipment, 
great helm of reinforcement. There's no strength like hidden strength. Nope. And more gold. And a token. Now, do I want to the top or the bottom first? Let's go to the bottom. Traveling jeweler. And that means that last card there will be the Jack of Scales. Approach the shop. First, all off excess items like the helm, great reinforcement, and this axe. And by. See, Damocles, Feathered Eyes, Healer's Ring, or Consuming Shame. Since I'm finding Lizardman, Ice is actually a good option. No point in buying the Healer's Ring. No point in buying more food. I guess it'll just end with 58 gold. Now, a fight for the ages. I expect greatness. This Legendman's potency allows him to nullify the magical abilities of the player's weapons and artifacts. The latent magical abilities make these Legendman feared by all, even their own kind. A challenge for you, and a token if you succeed. That might mean I don't get to use my, um, special abilities. I'm gonna use them. Fire! Whoop! Whoop! Feather dice. Feather dice. Counter Lizardmen, they uh, will do. An, will follow up with an unblockable attack. All right, they're all dead. So the card is mine. Hmm. Well played. Well played indeed. You have defeated something that I never expected to die. Right, the scepter provides an equipment bonus. At the start of your adventure, you gain an equipment card. So whenever I start, whenever we start up, we just get a piece of equipment. Food bonus, you start your adventures with more food. New starting gear, your starting gear equipment has been upgraded. Ratman strength increase, bandit health increase, and lizardman strength increase. So stronger enemies, but you know, new, new things to start with. Wand represents my will in the purest sense. It is not too late for you to give up now. Go peacefully to your fate and leave me to mine. You begin to assemble a credible deck. Let us see what happens next. Alright. Forgetting the praise of the gods of the old religion, you receive 
30 gold gain card. And the Demon Trader. Demon Trader's neat. You can trade blessings for potent magical items. Turn the belongings of the dead hero of, Wander of Wandermere. You receive... Holy Order, 10 gold per blessing. And War Cry. I don't know what Warcry does. I don't think I've ever used that one before. And the next part of the murder scene. Meet the Hindbinder. For trading so enthusiastically with a stranger of the shadows, you receive Blood Auction. For plundering a locked treasure chest, you receive Armory, draw two, keep one, select one, keep. And Fool's Gold. Fool's Gold is a head slot item that I have mixed feelings about. One hand, it's. If you're finding lots of bandits, it's nice. Otherwise, it's meh. Even against lots of bandits, I don't think Fool's Gold is really worth the slot unless you have nothing else. Queen of Skulls is next. Metal Ore. Metal Ore and the Holy Forge. Oh man. I. Those two cards. It's hard to pull off because you have to get them in the right order. You have to get the Metal Ore first and then find the Holy Forge. And if you don't get both of them, or you don't get them in the right order, it, you don't get anything. But if you do, you can get the Battle Hammer, the most powerful weapon in the game. It, you have to have luck to get it, but if you can get it, you should get it. It's, it's just like the huge hammer, but better. In the Dark Ritual, Liches are coming up soon. As a reward for defeating the Lizardman Jack, you receive these new cards. The antlers that I just got, and the Undead Bane. Which is the sword that works better against Undead. Halfway done. Let us continue. And yep, that was the halfway mark. Six down, six to go. Next time will be the Queen of Skulls. And yeah, this... Before I mentioned, when he, he said he was going to stop being merciful, this is the point in which the game really throws down. The, whenever I had first played through this game, I had never died until I got... I, well, I don't think I died until I got to this dungeon. And I, if I die in the middle of this recording, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. It probably depends on what point I'm dying. If I die early enough in the run, I might just go straight into another run. But, you know, we'll, we'll see what, what happens. Hopefully I won't die. Because that, that, get, that, that gets frustrating quickly. But yeah. Either way. Anyway. If you liked, if you enjoyed what you saw, please leave a like down below. And thank you for watching.